What's the mystery Marvel Sony movie being teased for 2021? After the unexpected success at the box office of everyone's favorite goo monster, Venom, it appears that Sony's hoping to keep that money train chug chug chugging along with this July's Morbius. You know, Morbius, the living vampire? Not one of those dead vampires, he's totally living and loving it. And whether or not Jared Leto's Morbius is a success or not, it's clear that Sony is going full steam ahead with creating the cinematic universe of the Marvel characters that they own. And fresh off the news that the Venom sequel has finished filming principal photography, we've received news that the Sony Marvel universe is expanding even wider. Thanks to a tweet from Exhibitor Relations Company, it was revealed that there's an untitled Sony Marvel film set to come out on October 8th, 2021. But what could it be? What film or character or sequel is it going to be? Thankfully, our colleague of the written word, Eric Diaz, laid out his theories over on Nerdist.com, and we're gonna break them down right now. Now, first of all, Spider-Woman. Now, it makes sense that Sony would want to bring Jessica Drew to the big screen, and there's even an unconfirmed rumor that Sony's currently actively developing this former Hydra turned shield agent with superpowers for a feature film. But whether they've reached the point where they're ready to announce a release date remains to be seen. It's interesting to point out, though, that while Sony owns the rights to Spider Woman and her superhero persona, Marvel proper owns the rights to Jessica Drew as a shield agent. So maybe the two could hash out a deal to work together on a Spider Woman flick, unless, of course, Sony is working on one of the many other characters to use the Spider-Woman moniker, like Julia Carpenter or Maddie Franklin, the list goes on. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, the next possibility is another film based on a Spider-Man villain, or should we say villains, because it's the Sinister Six. Sony's been wanting to make a Sinister Six movie way back since the days when Andrew Garfield shot his web all over the big screen. And with Scorpion teasing out the baddie team at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, we could finally see it happen, especially since Michael Keaton's Vulture is featured pretty prominently in the Morbius trailer. And staying on this villainous bandwagon, this next choice actually has pretty decent odds. Craven the Hunter. Supposedly, Sony's already commissioned a script based on the Spider-Man storyline Craven's Last Hunt, which revolves around the titular hunter killing Spider-Man and burying him. In actuality, the webhead had just been tranquilized into a deep slumber, and Craven was just running around New York dressed as Spidey, fighting crime to prove that he's the superior being. Why does every Spider-Man villain want to prove that they're the superior Spider-Man? Just be a good guy and stop doing crimes! With all the back and forth over how Spider-Man's gonna be used in both the MCU and Sony's Marvel Universe, it's gonna be interesting to see if they do a one-to-one -one adaptation of this story, or if they use a stand-in for Spider-Man with another character, like Venom. Another option that feels like an eventuality, Black Cat and or Silver Sable. Now, Sony's been trying to make the team up film for years under the title Silver and Black, but it was put on the shelf back in 2018 so these characters could be spun out into their own solo outings. While Black Cat was reportedly being worked on to hit the silver screen first, both of these characters have recently re-entered the pop culture zeitgeist thanks to their inclusion in Sony's PS4 video game. So now might be the time to move ahead for either or both. And next up, we have a character that I'm honestly shocked is on this list, but hey, weirder things have happened, Madame Web. That's right, Sony announced their intentions to make a Madame Web movie back in September for some reason. Now, if you haven't pulled out your long boxes in a while or watched the animated series, <laughs> Well, look, Madame Web was introduced back in Amazing Spider-Man number 210 way back in 1980 as a sometimes ally to Peter Parker. In the comics, her powers are psychic in nature and include things like precognition and clairvoyance, but it was the animated Spidey series from the 90s that introduced her ability to cross universes and realities. So if Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness doesn't somehow deal with Spider-Man swinging from the MCU into Sony's universe of Marvel characters, well, Madame Web could be the way to do it although I'm still just baffled. Now, our final guess is a genuine swing for the fences, but one we feel would be rewarding to see, Spider-Girl. Now, if Sam Raimi directs Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and if fans have their way, and he reintroduces Tobey Maguire as an older than teenage Spidey, and Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane, and if they have a kid, then Sony could make the kid May Mayday Parker, AKA Spider-Girl. And hey, it's a lot of ifs, I'll be the first to admit that, but tell us that you wouldn't be super stoked to see Peter and Mary Jane raise a kid of their very own who also happens to be a superhero. 
And there you have it, folks. All of the most likely possibilities for what this mysterious Sony Marvel movie could be. You can find out our theories in greater detail on Nerdist.com. Read the full article, we'll put it in the description below. But in the meantime, tell us which Spider-Man supporting character do you most want to see on the big screen? And why haven't we gotten the DC Marvel crossover of our dreams with Condiment King and Paste Pot Pete yet? Two great tastes that taste great together, ketchup and glue? Anyway, let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? And if you want to get notified every time we go live with a new show or drop a new video, please feel free to mash that little bell. That way you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.